Good morning. It's day six because we needed one more day's review in our study of Psalm 23. I hope you've got it memorized or are on your way to doing so. Take a moment now to read or recite the psalm out loud, and then we'll conclude our week together. David writes, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. So what comfort would sheep find in their good shepherd's staff? Well, the staff identifies the shepherd. Uh, no other profession carries one. Uh, with his staff, he draws me. Rather than chasing down a timid sheep or reaching out to grab it, uh, the shepherd will gently grip the sheep and draw it to himself. Perhaps he's noticed the sheep being especially frightened. You know, one fearful sheep can stir the others to fear. So he will use his staff to draw it close. He'll pet it. He'll use his familiar voice to calm it down. When we are frightened or upset, the Lord lovingly draws us to himself. And in his presence, we find that he comforts and consoles us. With his staff, he directs me. The staff is used for guiding sheep down a new path, through some gate, or along a dangerous route. The tip is appropriately placed on the sheep to guide it in the way the shepherd wants it to go, the way it needs to go. The Lord wisely uses pressures, promptings, and his word to guide our lives. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. With his staff, he delivers me. Most pastures do not have fences. Sheep are not aware of the dangers all around them. They can fall in a hole, in water, or off a cliff's edge. When that happens, it's the shepherd's staff that lifts them up to safety. However, when that happens, the sheep often becomes frantic. If the shepherd tries to get the sheep when it's flailing around, it might break its neck. The good shepherd must wait until the sheep has exhausted himself and has no more resistance in him. Then he can successfully lift him up to safety. There the shepherd will comfort him. And hopefully the sheep has learned not to stray into dangerous places. When we stumble, the Lord waits until we are ready to be lifted up by him. When all resistance toward him is gone and we yield to him. No wonder his rod and staff comfort sheep. They are symbols of his love and care for us. Today, thank the Lord for being your good shepherd. And now, out loud with me. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen.